Hey guys, Justin Russell with RussellMarineProducts.com out here on the water with the brand new HDS Live unit. It's going to talk about the quick access keys and show you how to configure them if you have an HDS Live 12 or 16 model. They come with four quick access keys and we're going to do a step-by-step -step process with Jacob Scott on how to program these keys to be able to have any configuration of screens you want on here or function. They work with the Sonic Hub. You can turn the volume up and down on them. You can switch screen selections at the push of a button where traditionally you had to make you know five or six different key hits or menu hits to be able to get that screen so uh, quick access keys we've got four of them they're on the right side of the unit again features on the 12 and 16 inch models uh, Jacob's going to instruct me here on how to go through and configure one of these here real quick okay so Justin they're really simple and easy to use so you don't even have to figure out what to do press that top button since it's not programmed, it automatically takes you to the quick access programming page. Now, not only do you have four buttons to program, you typically, what you actually have is eight buttons because you have a quick press and then you have a long press. So each key does dual functions. And then you can also program your pages key for a long press. So uh, just select your top one there. You can come to the side for the quick presses on the left, the long presses on the right. So just give it a touch there. So this is your menu of whatever you can program if you want to put a waypoint on it. So, you know, toggling your screens, measuring distance, pausing sonar. You know, I mean, that's a handy one for guys. You can also set this up to put your unit in standby. So the guys that have like a 12 or 16 on the bow and they want to put it in standby to run. So instead of, they can just set it up so it's a quick push on that. So go ahead and select waypoint. So now the other thing you can do instead of just setting OK, you can set it for whatever symbol, symbol you want to on there. So if you have a specific symbol that you use for a spot to stop and fish, I know like I use the skull and crossbones when I'm coming across uh, submerged flo uh, logs and stuff like that so that I know where they're at when I'm running. So whatever you want to set it up for, just pick We're whichever. a bunch of rocks, I'll select rock pile. OK, now hit OK. And then if you hit the X at the upper uh, right of the unit, save that. So now when you do a quick press on that top access key, it's actually going to put the waypoint right there. And it's going to be the symbol that you selected. So it's, whereas normally with your waypoint key, if you go in and you look at something, it's not always. There it is. Yep. This one's been set up for Genesis Live, but it's not in there right now. So let's also use that mapping card. So now that we can see where we're at. So as you can see, the rock pile, you select it right there in the river channel. There's stacked fish in here too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> so any of the quick access keys can be programmed. If you wanted to program all eight of them to do uh, uh, waypoints and stuff like that, well, you know, for whatever you're using while Different you're fishing, symbols. you can do that. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I do, you know, I, I take a lot of screenshots when I'm on the water. Right. So um, my pages key at the very top there, that can be also programmed. So the short press is typically going to take you to your home page. It's always going to do that. But if you press and hold that one, it takes my screenshots, screenshots for me. So now I don't have to push power and pages anymore. It's just one button, press and hold lot more simplified exactly and again you can configure it for whatever you want to do uh, this boat's got a sonic hub on it I uh, use the quick access keys for turning my volume up and down so that I don't actually have to open my sonic hub menu and get in there and do that sure so uh, there's a lot of great features within that you can again you can program them for your power poles you can program it to put the unit in standby you can program it to take a sonar log so whatever you want to do on the water if it's a feature within the unit, you can pretty much configure those uh, quick access keys to do that. Again, guys, one of the benefits of having the 12 or 16 inch live unit is going to be able to have those access keys just to be able with the touch of a finger, any configuration that you set up without hitting a bunch of, of key functions or screen touches on the unit to be able to do that. Again, totally configured for how you want it done. Just another one of the great features that's available on these new HDS live units. Be sure to check these out at RussellMarineProducts.com.